So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Your boy Charles Gray with the beautiful. Lawrence. And the beautiful. Ooh, that's lady there you go. We in the building. You know what? Let's jump right into the sizzle. You ready for the sizzle? Yep. You re- Are you ready for the sizzle? <laughs> <laughs> I'm always ready for the sizzle. We got the sizzle. Give it to me, girl. Yes, sir. So singer Salon, she has confirmed her separation from husband, 56-year-old music video director Alan Ferguson. So Solange confirmed her her split to her 4.1 million Instagram followers via an Instagram post. So this comes just two weeks before the ex-couple's five-year anniversary. And in her post, she said, you know, she it was kind of a little long, but she said, 11 years ago, I met a phenomenal man who changed every existence of my life. Earlier, Early this year, we separated and parted ways. And she had in parentheses, and though it ain't nan nobody business, because that's just <laughs> how she wrote it, I find it necessary to protect the sacredness of my personal truth and to live in it fully just as I had before and will continue to do. It is unfair to not have power of your own story as you shape and mold and rewrite it yourself. And, you know, she has some a few other things to say, but nothing negative or indicative of the cause of the separation. And Solange and um, Allen got married in New Orleans back in November 2014 with big sis Beyonce, um, you know, brother-in-law Jay-Z and the, and the family in attendance. So... And she's also slamming rumors that she cheated with her manager after a picture surfaced of the two walking. Mm. So she tagged him (laughs) in the picture in her IG story and said, thank you for being the best co-manager for five years. Sorry for the internets are being, sorry the internets are so unkind and be lying. Go back to enjoying your vacation. So, you know, <laughs> what is that, Charles? That's the sizzle that's right there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> I love it. Some stories, boy. Yes, yes. I so, love it. I yeah, love it. so she shot those rumors down real quick. Nicki Minaj, she has clapped back at the queen of gossip, Wendy Williams, Uh-oh. after her comments about Nicki's new hubby, mm-hmm. Kenneth Petty, mm-hmm. okay? Don't get you know, yeah, petty. you, yes, petty. you know how a wife will fight for her man. A wife will fight for her man, okay? So on a recent episode of Wendy Williams' show, in her Hot Topic segment, Wendy decided she was going to talk about Nicki Minaj marrying fiancé Kenneth. So Wendy said, now he served seven years in prison and he's a sex offender. So that 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 means he's... And she was trying to, you know, playing along with the audience. She's like, is right. the man is manslaughter a killer? So the crowd was like, yes, and did it. Wow. She said, okay, so he's a killer and a sex offender. Well, Nikki, congratulations. Dang. So wow. Nikki got wind of that, of course. <laughs> Nobody now she shouldn't be talking now. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like all that she just went through with her that, marriage, please, mm, Wendy. For real. Nikki was she she was dragging Wendy, okay. So on an episode of Queen Radio, Nikki took the opportunity to address Wendy's comments and the dragon began. Yeah, she should. So Nikki said, Every time you mention him, you feel the need to bring up bring these things up. It's not about doing your job, because Nikki does acknowledge, like as a you know, reporter like us, you report the news your job is to report the news and then she's like there are people who report the news and there are people who do it with evil intent in their heart viciousness and i pray for you because i know you're hurting and i know you must be sick and humiliated so she said some other things that we really can't say because of the explicitness of the nature but um nikki said that she one time she was out with nas and wendy walked up to nas and said what are you doing with her i don't like her and then she was like, me and Kevin was, Nikki, this is what Nikki's claiming. That Wendy said, me and Kevin were at home and we were listening to Nas. And Nikki was like, no, you were listening to Nas. He was with his chick. Wow. <laughs> like, yikes. I'm, and then she <laughs> Wow. I'm tr- I can't even follow this story no more. Man. Wow. Go ahead. Well, Nikki, Nikki went in on Queen Radio okay, on Wendy. Okay. So she starts talking. She's saying things that she described the incident where she was at an event with Nas when they were together. Oh, Wendy okay. Williams walked up to Nas and act like she didn't see Nikki. Mm-hmm. And was like, What are you doing with her? I don't like her. What are you doing with Nikki? I don't like her. 
And then Wendy was like, oh, me and Kevin were at home. We were listening to Nas. And then Nikki was like, she said on the radio, she was like, no, you were listening to Nas. He was with his chick. Talking wow. about her. Talking right. about Wendy. I uh, no doubt, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so then she was, you know, she said a lot of stuff. Like, she was like, Wendy, where were you at when Kevin was knee deep in that? Mm-mm. <laughs> she said, you paid for her shopping sprees. You paid for her hotels. Probably paid for her GYM bills. And you paid to have that baby delivered. So she was just she was just kind of going in. This on, is all on her radio Wendy. show. This yeah, she went okay. in for a long time, for a long time. And then she also said that she was going to do another segment, but she was going to invite Tasha K. I don't know if it, you know that she's another blogger. Um, Tasha K actually had like some type of beef with Cardi B because she was doing a lot of stories and stuff on Cardi B. But, you know, Nikki has invited Tasha K to the show, and I I, I believe that they're going to continue the conversation. But, but all right, so know. is Cardi and Nikki thing squashed now? I ain't no, heard much from it. No, uh, no. Okay. But um, Remy, you know, I didn't really do the story, but Remy had came out and, you know, was kind of talking about how she was talking about the Sheetha song. But that's a whole nother story okay, for another yeah. day. We can't, yeah, we can't yeah, even yeah. really get into that. But, you know, Nikki talked about her. She was talking about supporting her when she found out about Kevin, you know, cheating and all that. And she felt bad for her. But then Nikki said that she's demonic and she's going to pray for her. But no word <laughs> yet from Wendy. And, you know, I wonder if she'll ever respond because sometimes Wendy get caught up in something and then somebody clap back at her and then Wendy, it'd be crickets. Right, right. I don't right. know. We'll see. So the Celebrity Sizzle Award of the Week goes to... <laughs> former... Yeah, I was waiting for my drum roll. I'm sorry. But former San Francisco 49ers, Callan Kaepernick, mm. who spent his 32nd birthday along with his Know Your Rights Camp Foundation, helping to feed the homeless in Oakland, California. Kaepernick's girlfriend, Nessa um, Diab, was also alongside Colin and his team. They gave out backpacks filled with snacks, shampoo, socks, soap, and other paraphernalia. And they even had a food truck that was there giving out food. So shout out to Colin Kaepernick. That's what's He continues to hold the community down. Shout yeah. out, so shout out to him. No yes, doubt. I'm your girl, Lauren Sizzle, and that was The Sizzle. And that was The Sizzle, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Charles Greg, with the beautiful... Lauren Sizzle. And the beautiful... Thank you, Lady Sparkle. Uh, you know what? We're going to cut to some music real quick, and we're going to bring our guest in. And you know what? we just a couple minutes behind, but we want to let, let you hear some good old music, man. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. Sizzle, who do we got coming up next? So we got Fat Joe. Yes. This is... This is Okay. 